Let's play a game, shall we? Hi there! This Let's Play is gonna be very interesting because it is a certain little game made by Capcom. One of epic proportions! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monster Hunter Try. Let, enough of that. Let's just get to it. Begin the game. Why not? Let's see. Right, I think that, yeah, that one already exists, so I'm gonna make a new one. Start game. I played this game before, but not too much. Set your audio device to speak stereo sound when using We Speak. Please see the We Speak operation manual. Okay. Adjust various settings. Screen settings. Okay, screen ratio. Yeah, obviously 16 by 9. That's what you're viewing it in. Brightness. Eh, yeah, probably about that. Effect. Okay. Keep the amount of on-screen and other in-game effects will be reduced. Does it really matter? What, does the game run better if you reduce them? I guess that's for people who don't want to see as much blood and things like that. Nah, I don't mind it. Now then, time to get into this game and start killing some monsters. Although first I should probably make a hero. I think I'm going to make him look like Jotaro. Or as much as you can make him look like Jotaro. Considering he's not going to have a hat. Yada yada. Oh well. It's no matter. Is there no option that actually covers him to any real extent? I guess that's true for both genders. There's none for any of them. Oh well, at least I can choose a base color. So I can make it black. Okay, that's clearly for the analog stick. Good grief. There we go. Face color, face. I should probably zoom in. That way I can actually see them. These are some weird faces. I wonder who they got to actually do this. Yeah, definitely a little weird. That probably looks the closest to Jotaro. Eye color? Does that really matter? Features. Oh, this is just facial features. Wow. That's quite extensive. Wow, I can make a Zuko if I wanted to. He actually looks like Zuko. Maybe I should ditch Jotaro and just make him Zuko. Nah. Turn that back off. I'll just go with Jotaro. Yeah, hairstyle is gonna matter too much. Although, Jotaro's hair was short and messy, so that would probably work best. Yeah, that'll work. Why not? And then make it all the way dark. There we go. Looks a little bit like him. Hmm. Let's see. That's probably the closest to Jotaro. The gruffer, the better. Name. No. Keep that the same. Right. How do you... How do you uppercase? You cannot use that name. Well, duh. There's obvi There's literally nothing there. And you gotta do it like this. This sucks. Can't even use the Wii motion pointer to do it. You gotta just go to each letter one at a time. What is this? Uh, a non-Wii game? I mean, this would probably make sense if all you had to work with was dual analog, but that's not the case. Why don't you want to want to take advantage of the Wii's abilities a little bit, huh? Can't even use that as a space. You gotta go all the way here. That's a shame. Oh well. It's no bother. Just three more letters. Kujo. Oh. Can't even do that. Never mind. You cannot use that name. Why not? You can't use Jotaro? Let me try that again real quick. Hang tight. Nope. 
Never mind. App apparently pressing 2 makes something else happen. I, I don't know what happened there, but... Apparently it made it not want to want to work. Oh well, it doesn't matter. As long as it works, right? Good freaking grief. Alright. Nice looking ship. That's a, a hot looking ship you got there. All things considered. It's giving me an Age of Empires vibe. But then again, everything of this era would. Age of Empires is my childhood. That's nice. Haha, <laughs> that kid fell. That's funny for some reason. Ah, oh, look at that. Bones? Well, I guess bones are useful too. You can make weapons out of them. Did you just catch a shark? Okay. Apparently shark isn't all that tasty. Apparently it's very tasteless. Sir, do you realize your your backside is a little exposed there? Okay. This place has got a really weird dress code. Ah, it is being used for weapons. Little mushroom people. No, it's, they're just wearing hats. Never mind. This isn't Mario. If it was, it would have gotten copyright stricken by now. It's a joke. Well, they're creatures, they're just not mushrooms. What just happened? That can't be good. What's going on around here? Is that the village elder? The village chief? Apparently he's happy about something, the one on the right. And there we go. Is it time to actually start playing the game now? I hope so. All this waiting around is really pissing me off. Morning, Hunter. You sleep well? If it's any comfort to you, Mag Moga Village hasn't seen two quakes in the same day yet. Knock on wood. But let's back up. Welcome, welcome. I'm the chief of this here little community. Nature provides Moga Village with everything we need. The woods and the sea are our cattle, and it's a good one. As folk like to say, living here long enough builds... What is that? Sinu and character. But it's not all rainbows and sunshines. No, we've got our fair share of turbulence. And you can take that literally. You've never heard of the Lagiakras? It's a foul, pernicious... Sea creature that just decided to move into the neighborhood. With a tyrant like that thrashing about, our hunting fleet would be lucky to escape alive, let alone bring back a good haul. At least we won't starve to death. All these blasted earthquakes will sink us first. See, that's our other problem. You felt those tremors? Who knows what's causing them why they started, but the sea is riled up. That I guarantee. Anyway, we're in over our heads. That's where you come in, kid. The way I see it, Moga Village needs a hunter. Yes, the Lagio Lagio Cross is mighty. Too powerful for any human to tangle with the way the villagers talk. Bah! Strong is one thing, but invincible is something else. The Lagio Cross may be big, but it still has to eat and rest. And one day, just like the rest of us, it has to die. Ha! Huh. If I was 30 years younger, I'd go clean its clock myself. But I'm only mortal too, so I'll leave the joy of taming the seas deadliest folks foe. To the younger generation, you! Speaking of youngins, did you and my son get to talk? Suppose not, the quake yesterday hit before hit afore you had the chance. Hmm, I don't see Junior around. Well, he couldn't have gone far. Take a hike around the village, ye find him. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's our, your, our initial payment, Hunter. It's not much, but it's enough to get you started. 
Received 15,000 Z. That's cool. Ah, so you're the hunter I've been hearing about, eh? You got the looks of one, you do. Hey, me? Why, I'm the greatest blacksmith alive. I am around all the equipment around these parts. Swords that are slicey in half with a touch. Bow guns you could hit a grain of rice with. Armor to repel giant wyverns. I'll make anything, provide you bring the materials. Gotta be equipped proper before you go venturing in the woods. I think I'm, my voice is getting destroyed by all these extreme voices. Oh, I wanted to tell you, it wouldn't be right to ask for your help without giving you a place to stay. The house over by the stone stairs to the right is yours. Go on, settle right in. Think of it as your home. It's all set up so you can restore items or save your game, as we like to say around here. Go have a look-see. Oh, still trying to track down Junior? My son's always busy. Why not make with the friendly and ask around the village? Ah, so is this my place? I think it is. I was trying to talk to her anyway. <laughs> oh, hello there. Don't you look all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. I never thanked you for helping pick up after the quake. I was too shook up to shake your hand. Haha, <laughs> get it? We've still got some tidying to do, but it could be worse. Oh, by the way, you see that house over there with a the colorful curtain? That's your new pad. A feline is on hand inside to help you get situated. Make sure you pause to say hello. <laughs> pause. Great joke there. Really appreciate it. Who are you? Hi, Hi and welcome to Moga Village. You must be the new hunter everybody's yakking about. Nice to meet ya. I'm your... Leon's son to the Hunter's Guild. I'd shake your hand, but you'd probably crush it, you brute. Grrr. Hey, just kidding. So basically, the Guild puts food on your plate by hooking you up with jobs we call quests. All you need is a Guild liaison like yours truly, and in no time flat, work will pour in from all across the land. In theory. See, I heard you were coming and told them to have quests ready for you, and what did they send? Nothing. Zip nada. As you might have noticed on the trip over, Moga Village is pretty far from what you call civilization. Maybe the guild forgot about us. Maybe they fired me. Maybe I need to stop talking. Anyway, the quest counter's closed. So go say hello to the village chief and his son for now. Get settled in. For some reason, my voice is starting to get strained. It's like there's something in the back of my throat. That when I talk, it just... I don't know. It feels like I'm straining my voice. Oh, well. Nice ocean. I know that, that sounds like a stupid thing to say, but seriously, it looks nice on the Wii. It's a nice looking game. In case you didn't notice by now, why wouldn't you? This is on the Nintendo Wii. That's why it's in 480p. Well, I mean, I saved it as 720p for the sake of YouTube, but it's in 480p. Actually recording it. Oh, I know! You're that hunter folks are, yeah, are going on about. Well, I run the fishery here, and don't you forget it. You're lucky we didn't meet before. That last quake put me in a foul mood. I was up half the night cleaning up that mess. Not only that, but my boys in the hunting fleet were due home ages ago. They never take this long fishing. I'm sick with worry. If I didn't know they were made of steel and fire, I'd paddle out to see myself to rescue them. Anyway, you come back later, hun. Once the fishery is back in business, all right? Thanks. That's cool. I'm meeting a lot of good people. It's quite interesting in here. Oh, I've got a blade already. I didn't even notice that. I've got a blade and a shield to farm. Nah, no thanks. I'm pretty sure this is the one I need to go to. Um, excuse me, hunter person. Um, um, if you want to go to the Moga Woods, just cross this bridge. You can, can go back the same way, so try not to f forget where the entrance is. We're supposed to ask permission before we go into the woods. Oh, but, but I'm not telling you what to do. There's an army right there if you need equipment. I don't think you should go out there dressed like me. Oh, oh, yeah. I have this stone I picked up when I heard a hunter was coming. Y you want it here? We use these to sharpen blades. Woo, you're a lot nicer than I thought. My big brother said you'd snap me like a twig, but you're all right. Good grief. Whoever said that I, that I, Jotaro Kujo, would snap you in half like a twig? Maybe I should snap your brother in half like a twig just for saying that crap. Rah, rah, it's a giant wyvern. Save us, outfitter. Whoosh. My great sword's charge sli slash slices through its scales. The wyvern stumbles. The villagers go wild. Rat -tat 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 -tat. I nail the beast with a bow gun full of pierce S. Then I make a crazy fierce lance charge. Shirk. 
the wyverns had it! It bolts as the crowd hoists me on their shoulder! Oh, they've been there long, huh? You caught me dreaming up some virtual combat scenarios to determine the best weapon. I mean, look, I work at a weapon shop. How am I supposed to help wep hunters if I don't even know what the best weapon is? Virtual testing is seriously serious business. Seriously! Are you serious? <laughs> you serious? Look, would you rather I stick with the usual pitch? No weapon is perfect. Each has its strengths and weaknesses. Oh, please. That was my papa's way of pushing perfect, but this ain't your grandpa's weapon shop. I just know there's a weapon that's a cut above the rest. I'm going to figure out what it is. Now, if you'll kindly scram so I can get back to my virtual combat scenarios. Where was I? Ah, oh, the shoulders thing. What? You're a customer. Okay, see ya. Well, wait, buy something first. Jeez, thanks. So glad you're, you're here to help. Good freaking grief. Okay, leather. Let's go with leather. Because Jotaro would have a leather... You know, he has a full wool jacket on. That apparently works out well in the desert for some reason. Arms. You know, he doesn't have gloves. Leather belt. Jotaro has two belts. But I'm pretty sure I can only put on one. Leather pants. There we go. Now I'm actually going to be... Properly dressed. We have a weapon sure are complicated. Come on. Where do I oh, okay there we go? It's two. Combine, Hunter's notes, items, pouch, equipment. There we go. Nothing equipped. Oh, we we best fix that. How do we fix that? Oh, you can point you can point to it. Let me just pull the Wiimote back so I can actually point. There we go. Oh, I see. I see how it's going on. What's going on here? I'm just, I'm just going a little bit ways back from the the camera so that, you know, the monitor so that I can point. All oh, right, you have to hold down Z. Right. You know what? Forget that. Hunter's notes, gestures. Okay. Combine items. How come I can't put stuff on? That would be nice. Can I only put stuff on in my house? Well, I guess I'd better take care of that then, huh? Meow, 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 meow. Welcome back, boss. I is this. I am the steward of this chamber. So long as you are the Moga Village's guest, I shall protect your things. A word of advice: hunters do not save their progress. Risk, risk losing fortune and glory for their exploits. He meow. Maybe I'll sound like meow. Do make it a point to rest in bed and save your game on a routine basis. Spoils brought from hunts, excess armor and the like may be placed in the item box in the corner for safekeeping. The item box serves another purpose. It allows you to change your equipment. Meow, meow, moving on. I've taken the liberty of placing a prish room lamp in your item box. Please consider it a housewarming gift. I am... On paw to assist you with the arrangement of your furnishings as well. From now on, consider me at your service. Yeah, I've tidied the room for you, boss. Cool. That's that's great. Just place place it down. Select a position. That's probably the best spot for it. May as well, right? Okay, that'll be good. Get arena data. Never mind. Farewell, boss! Okay, that's probably how he put stuff on. Okay, manage equipment, change appearance. Never mind, I think I have to... I think I have to manage equipment. Equip! There we go. Leather vest. Yeah, put that, put that crap on. Put that crap on. Put that crap on. There we go, now you're starting to look like a soldier. Kinda. Iron sword, holy crap, that is one big freaking sword. I think I'll go with the knife and shield for now. I mean, I gotta be able to protect myself too. And Jotaro is more of a more of a punching guy anyway. Okay. Okay, see you. Well wait, buy something first. Wait a minute. Maybe I need leather headgear. Well, it's not a hat, but it may it's the closest thing, right? 
All right, back to my virtual testing. Cool. Everything's going great so far. Oh, too bad it's been most of the Let's Play already, I just realized. I just spent most of the Let's Play doing crap like this. There we go. That's probably the closest thing I have to a hat. It's just, it's more like a, more like a headband than anything else, really. I still haven't found his kid. Or was that his kid? That was probably his kid, wasn't it? And I just didn't realize it. Ooh, I meant to tell you. It wouldn't be right to ask for you. Oh, okay. Maybe I should go out in the woods now. That way I I can say I accomplished something. Exit to Mogo Woods. Now loading. Isn't that great? Maybe it could load a little faster. Or not. You know, whatever way you want to work, game. Good freaking grief. Hey there, kid. Can you hear me? You know, you really caught my uh, my son, Junior. He should be at the camp. My ancestors have a saying, wherever you go, there you are. You see the map on the right side of the screen there? The red triangle shows where you are, and the white icon looks like a little hut. That's the base camp. Use the hut ha map to find your way to the base camp. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Thanks, elderly sir. I get it. I get it. There we go. That's how you run. Holy crap, that bloom is very intense. It's burning me. Oh look, I'm finally outside and it only took most of the let's play. That's okay. Man. Uh, you mind adjusting the light real quick? I'm, I'm, I'm going blind here. Uh, before I forget, there's something I have to tell you about dashing. That yellow bar is your stamina gauge. Running fast dashing, that is, will use up stamina. Run out of it and it'll slow. It's slow. be slow going until recharge. That's why you need to stay to, you to pay attention to your stamina, ga stamina gauge when you dash. Pace yourself, kid. You can always use the camera controls to gawk at your surroundings while you're walking around. Use the control pad to look around. Tap to move the camera. Fair enough. Look at this. Look at this beautiful side. Okay, that's enough of that. Look at that. Look at that amazing view. Isn't it amazing? Okay. Now if I go here, it'll take me straight over there. Say, the monster you're looking at right now is the Abtanoth. A kind of herbivore. You know, a plant muncher. I'll bet Junior would appreciate some raw meat. Why not take some from the Ab Abtanoth? Abtanoth if you can. Go on, face the Abtanoth and attack before it skedaddles. That leaf eater can't hurt you much. Which reminds me that a health bar at the... T that green bar at the top of the screen is your health gauge. If it hits zero, you hit the ground. Be sure to pack up your health... Peek at your health gauge now and while... Now and then while hunting. Sorry, I can't read for crap. Alright, go show that vegan brute who's boss. Okay. Okay. There we go. Just gotta swing the Wiimote around. Swing it back and forth. I'll go after the biggest one because I'm a big bad... I'm a bad man. I'm a bad man. I'm going after the leader. Not a bad kid. You remind me of myself when I was your age. Of course, my stamina gauge was much longer. You can use the carving skill to hack items from monsters you killed. You can carve more items from some monsters than from others. My ancestors use every part of the monster. You should be able to carve raw meat from an Abtanoth, among other items. Wow, this is way too low. Actually, that's because it's only the ambience. Once you've gotten the raw meat, some raw meat, to take it to my, that son of mine. Junior just loves fresh afternoon steaks. Well, at least I got to show you some of this. Come on. Would you just hurry up and die already? Thank you. God, was it swinging it? How do you curve again? That said, bring it down. Okay, I don't get it. There's got to be some way to do this. Oh, okay, it's one. Wait, no, wait, that's sharpening my blade. No, never mind. Sharpness is at maximum. Wait a minute. It's... Ah, crap. What the hell? Man, this isn't... 
I cannot figure this out to save my life. Maybe I should have read that. What the hell? How come nothing's happening? Great, it disappeared. Crap. Well, there goes my opportunity. I killed the thing and then I, I have nothing to show for it. That sucks. No, I don't need to sharpen it anymore. That's okay. Okay, there we go. At least it's at least it's out. I mean, it's back in. Whatever you want to call it. I guess I'll have to kill another one. Because apparently the, this meat is super fragile and it'll rot away in two seconds. Oh, great. Now they're gone. That sucks. I ruined my chance. Man, now I feel stupid. Which I should. I need to quit doing that. I keep... I keep sharpening it when I shouldn't. Quest info. Okay. What are the controls? How you want to move the pointer? Oh, okay. Interesting. Very interesting. I probably should have been paying attention. But I never do. Monster? Memo pad? Well, that's obviously not gonna work. Combo list. Hunter info, basic controls. There we go, basic controls. Basic movement? No, that's not what I was looking for. Weapon guide? Fundamentals? Putting weapons away. Oh, just press the plus button. I see. Right. I see. Where's the part about carving them up? Okay, I guess it's not gonna tell me that. I guess it's because they already told me that, so they decided, no, we're gonna we're not gonna tell you that again. You had your chance and you blew it. Diving and surfacing, ledges and vines, sneaking, crouching. Never mind. Well, I blew it. Hang tight. Okay, here we go. No, never mind. I don't I don't get this. What what the hell? It says A, but then he just swings his sword. This doesn't even make any sense. I don't get this. I don't get how these controls are supposed to work. I thought it was supposed to be A for that, but then he just slashes his blade. He doesn't actually do anything. Oh well, I'll let you know if I succeed. Hang tight. Are you kidding me? The reason why it didn't work was because I had the Wiimote facing upward. According to what I read, that's apparently the reason. Oh great, now he can carve. I know I did. I should have read that, but still. I didn't know that's, uh, that's how you did it. My bad. In my defense, that's not the most intuitive thing in the world to know. Well, I'm gonna get my money's worth. You better believe I'm gonna get as much as physically possible. Yeah, that's right. Give me all that meat. Give me all that nice, juicy meat. Yeah! Nothing found. Probably because it was a little one. I didn't mean to attack it, it just happened to be in my way. Let this be a lesson to you. Do not get in my way. Okay, now that I've found plenty of meat, let's go meet his son. And give him all the meat he wants during this meeting. Meatily. All right, it's over there. Apparently that way is blocked off. I don't know if they're, if you're supposed to be able to go that way or not. Maybe you can later. It's just blocked off now. To prevent you from going over there. Ah, here we go. This is cool. Hey there, sir. I assume you're, you're the village chief's son, huh? 
Guess the kid wasn't it. Mm. Nice work. Seems you reached the camp in one piece. It's just a shadow of its former self because of all the earthquake damage. Well, well, if that ain't my son right in front of you, don't be shy. Go up to Junior and say hi. Hi. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Hey, old hunter. Glad you dropped by. The old man and... The old man sent you out for a tour of the Moga Woods. Sorry we didn't get to chat more yesterday. As fun a conversation piece as the natural disasters are. Yeah. So, you're probably up to speed on who's who by now, but I'm Jun- Ahem. I'm the chief's son. What am I doing here, you might ask? Standing among the rubble? Good question. Well, see, this is your base camp. Was. Is, okay? I'm still figuring that part out. You need some kind of base of operation for hunting, and well, this was where we left the tent and bo- and Boca set. Can't say the earthquake was, ahem, <clears throat> kind to this place. We'll need to fix it up before you can hunt from here. I'll head back to the village and get the ball rolling, but, uh, say, you got anything I can munch on? I'm so hungry I could eat an Aptonoff. Got any raw meat? Cause I can barbecue like a champ. Meat plus barbecue equals BFF. <laughs> nice. Yes, I got some meat for you. Oh, so hungry. Wait. You have meat, raw meat. Can I have it, please, please? Thank you. Hmm, something about animal flesh just gets my tumby, uh, tumbly, tummy all rum, a uh, rumbly. Time to barbecue and chow down. You're all right, Hunter. We'll talk more after, about the base camp back in the village after I'm done grilling. I'll think of some way to thank you. Scout's honor. See you there. You handed over one raw meat. Hmm, I'm not quite hungry enough to bite into a slab of disease, so I should probably cook this, yeah. We'll talk more about the ba about the base camp back in the village after I'm done barbecuing. Alrighty then. I guess I'll see you there. But first... I gotta end this video, so that's it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video all around. Hey there, kid. Never mind. Hey there, kid. Looks like you managed to deliver the that meat to Junior. Good to see you can handle simple tasks. I think it's high time you headed back to the village. Look at area one on the map. See the icon showing the village gate? Use the bridge past the gate to return to the village. Right, I gotcha. Anyway, now that that's over. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like my first hunt. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. Actually, more like spread it around like the blood of that beast I just killed. See ya.